Hi there handbaggers and welcome to the Duck's Nest. This is the Military Mom and this video is a response to a bag tag that was initiated by Noble Strength. Audrey tagged several of us to share our top 10 handbags and I want to thank Audrey first of all for including me in the list and second of all I can tell you all that three years ago, five years ago, seven years ago top 10 would have looked totally different but I think I've matured my collection to the point where all the bags that I have now are pretty much pretty much forever pieces so I'm going to run through these in no particular order however those of you who follow my channel or who drop by occasionally know Dooney and Burke is my handbag heart so you wouldn't be surprised to know that several of these are Dooney and Burke bags all right again in no particular order just pulling them off the pile the first one is this this is Vintage Coach in the color black. This is my Avenue Slim. And this bag is the reason I do not own a Cassie. This is my Cassie. <laughs> it has all the hallmarks of the Cassie except the turn lock. It has a knob there that you pull to open the bag. And then the interior is all leather. There's a shoulder strap. Love, love, love my Coach Avenue Slim in the color black in leather. All right, next bag is also a coach bag. And this is my May shoulder bag. You all, I am not a hobo slash shoulder bag girl, but this bag is simply classically gorgeous. I just, I love this bag. Not crazy about her interior organization, but this bag to me was just so pretty. And I was so glad to find her in this color combination. So this is the next one the May shoulder bag by Coach in black and pebble leather. All right, the next bag, first Dooney and Burt bag is Sister Lex. Yes, there's a reason why Dooney still sells this bag. This is a great bag for me. I love the fact that it has the front and the back slips. I'm not a tote girl either, but when I need a larger bag, um, I gravitate towards Sister Lex. Just a beautiful purple color in the Claremont collection. Zip top bag. And yeah, the Lexington Shopper in the large size by Dooney and Burke. Next bag was a unicorn bag. And this is my Baldrini hand sewn drawstring. By Dooney and Burke. Love the color blocking on this bag. Love the back zip. That, oh, that leather. Oh, that leather. This is a huge bag. I don't carry it a lot, but it is a bag that I hunted will forever be in my collection. So the Boldrini drawstring made in Italy of Florentine leather, hand sewn for Dooney and Burke. All right. That one might fall off the sofa. The next one is also a drawstring. Red Florentine with the gathers and the whip stitching and the brushed gold hardware. Oh yeah, this bag is just gorgeous. Again, it's a large drawstring, but just, you know, one of those bags that I may not reach for a lot, but I just absolutely love it. I love the carry and yeah, she's, Probably a forever bag, my Dooney and Burke drawstring in Florentine leather in the color red. All right, now, this bag surprised me. And the reason it surprised me is not because it's not gorgeous. This is the Dooney and Burke backpack in coated cotton in the hydrangea print. Love this bag and the reason it surprised me is because I reach for it a lot more than I thought I would I love the cream color the front zip pocket and she has my favorite lining Yes, so the Dooney and Burke Backpack in the hydrangea print in the color cream next bag Yes The silhouettes of silhouettes as far as I'm concerned and this is the small Brenna. I have several of these, but this particular one is the DB75 in coated cotton, shiny it. 
and yeah love everything about this bag next up is a vintage Dooney and Burke piece this is vintage all-weather leather with the toggle closure back zip this is an all leather bag and I reach for this bag quite often when I'm running errands on the weekend or just don't really want to carry a large bag I don't know if you can see that but it's suede interior and I took the shoulder strap off because I will switch out the shoulder strap on this bag so my all-weather leather by Dooney and Burke vintage the next one is probably my favorite tote this is my Rebecca Minkoff Darren tote this bag is made of deerskin leather. Oh, yes. Small turn lock closure. She's stuffed with a beach towel, but here's the lining. It reminds me of the Patricia Nash lining. Back snap. And these handles stay on my shoulder. Love the neutral color. Love the riveting on the Patricia Nash Darren. And last but not least, you all knew it was coming. There it is. <laughs> yes, my front pocket satchel from the Dylan collection. Favorite bag of all time, forever and ever. And yeah, love this bag. She has my favorite lining as well. Those of you who follow my channel have seen this bag quite often, I'm sure, um, on my channel because this is my number one bag of my entire collection. All right, now, let me really sh quickly share some bags with you all that I don't carry a lot, but that I absolutely will not get rid of. Um, first and foremost is my favorite Rogue, which is the Oxblood in the barrel shape. This bag is so luxe. Oh my gosh. And double zips. It's very heavy. I do not carry it a lot. When I carry it, more than likely I carry it to church, but this is a bag that I absolutely love and will, um, if I have anything to do with it, will always be in my collection. The next bag is a unicorn bag that I hunted high and low for, and it is this one. It is the toggle, I call it the toggle tote. I don't know what the official name of it is, but look at the pebbling. It's like um, the Coach Buffalo embossed leather. I mean, it's so deep and pronounced. And I love just the simplicity of this bag. It's huge. I hardly ever carry it, but again, it will never, if I have anything to do with it, leave my collection because I'm just crazy about this bag. To show you the um, lining it's red but I have it stuffed with a pillow there and the last bag you all is this one this is a bag that um, was originally designed by Prada I do believe and like I've said before Dooney totally owned this bag when they created it I'm just not sure how to categorize this bag, but I can tell you I love absolutely everything about this bag. Again, the deep pebbling, I love a bag with side pockets, and this one has side pockets with tongue and loop closure. It has my favorite lining, and even though it has this center zip, this bag is so large that it doesn't even... Um, cause an issue there's a zip in the back square connectors and a back zip and I think I've carried this bag twice since I've had her um, and I think I carried her only to church but she's just she might look like a grandma bag but the bag is so incredibly well made and it's just a quality piece that I love. And even though I don't carry her, I will, again, if I have anything to do with it, never get rid of her. All right, so there you have it. There's the pile. <laughs> 
Thank you all so much for dropping by. And as always, happy caring.